white letters and a microphone appear atop gray clouds and a yellow sun. Sunstorm stories. Tinu Abayomi Paul appears on screen. Tinu describes herself as a medium skinned black woman with shoulder length black wavy braids wearing a blue mud cloth print dress. She is the founder of Everywhere Accessible. The experience that I carry with me the most that led to me really thinking that maybe I shouldn't even go to the hospital and I should just literally die is this experience I had being a cancer patient, one of the very few negative experiences I had because being a cancer patient opened me up to a whole new world of how I could be treated with care and kindness. My oncologists have shown me that there is a different way for care to be administered to me. I have doctors and nurses in my family, so I theoretically know what the standard of care is supposed to be. But to experience it at its highest level is another thing. So when I went into the office for this procedure, I was expecting that high standard of care. My experience putting it in, I was put under sedation. It was inserted. I came out of the twilight state. It was in a hospital setting. There was a recovery room and a recovery period. And I was treated like a patient, like a person who had an experience that mattered in that setting. When I went to this office where they had me convinced, hey, you're just gonna go in this back room and we're just gonna pop that thing right out. Something that had been in my body for five years. It was not easy for them to get it out. They put a sheet over my face and cut out the area where they were gonna be operating because it was an operation. I was not given sedation. They only had lidocaine and it didn't help much. And they kept applying it and I kept telling them it wasn't enough. They kept digging in my chest and I kept feeling it and I kept telling them, this hurts, I can't do this. This went on for an hour. When I first came to the office, and this should have told me when I stepped in that room to turn around and walk out, I told the nurse, where is the anesthesiologist? Where's, where's the person who gives me the medicine? And she looked at the other nurse and laughed and said, you know, she wants, you know. And I just thought, that's all my life. When you have something physically taken out of your body that's embedded, you usually go under they had no care that it was a traumatic experience. And because of that, I mean, that experience stayed with me. Four logos appear on screen. This initiative was brought to you by the National Disability Rights Network, Foundations for Divergent Minds, the John Hopkins Disability Health Research Center, and funded by the With Foundation. For more information or to share your story for future editions of this project, visit us at ndrn.org.